Hello! I'm Benjamin Joseph Billy Mibao, your science blogger for today. I'm really happy today, so I really uplifted my tone for today just to make you feel that I'm really happy that and I'm really excited that you guys are with me. To all of my viewers out there, to my students who's watching right now, particularly the grade 8 students, I'm really happy that you're with me because today we're going to be talking about hierarchical taxonomic system. You know, have you ever heard that one? So this one is a little bit different from the typical that we used to this uh, that we were able to discuss last time. This one is a bit different, and I'm pretty sure um, somehow you have an idea about this one. But just to make things clear um, and to reinforce your existing knowledge about this topic, we're gonna be talking about this one today. So stay tuned, and we're gonna be discussing a lot of this. All right. So let's get started. So for our learning competency, um, for today's learning competency, we have to classify organisms using the hierarchical taxonomic system. So what does it mean? Um, well, we first want to unlock some difficulties over here. We would like to define taxonomy and taxonomic hierarchy. So taxonomy is... I mean, which literally means arrangement or law. So that's what taxonomy means. Taxonomic hier hierarchy refers to the sequence of categories in increasing or decreasing order. Kingdom is the highest rank and species is the lowest rank in the hierarchy. So we have to remember that. So we're going to be talking about kingdom and then we're going to be talking about species, which is the lowest. And the one that is in the highest is the kingdom. So that is taxonomic hierarchy. It refers to the sequence of categories in increasing or decreasing. Um, to make things clearer in your vision, um, I actually uploaded here a picture of what does biological classif hierarchy of biological classification. We said earlier that we will start from the highest rank, which is the kingdom, uh, down to the lowest rank, which is species. So let me just read the order of the hierarchy of biological classification, which, which we will start from the highest, which is the kingdom. It will then be followed by phylum, class, order, family, genus, and then species. So we're going to be discussing each of those and we're going to be describing uh, the different characteristics of each um, order, alright? So let's start from the highest, which is the kingdom. So if you're going to take a look at the picture, these are good examples of a kingdom, alright? So let's, let me read you the definition of kingdom. The kingdom um, is the highest level of classification which is divided into subgroups at various levels. There are five kingdoms in which the living organisms are classified, namely Animalia, which is in the picture. We also have Plantae. <laughs> it's pretty much evident in the picture that I've given you. We have Fungi, we have Protista, and then we have Monera. So once again, the highest in the hierarchical classification is the kingdom, all right? Next is we have the phylum. The phylum is the next level of classification and is more specific than the kingdom. There are 35 phyla in kingdom animalia. For example, Porifera, Corridota, Anthropoda, etc. So there are actually tons of phylum and if we're gonna discuss it in one video, it's gonna take a lot of time. So maybe we could create another video regarding phylum. But just to remember uh, what is phylum, it is next to kingdom. Okay, this is the next level of classification and it's more specific than kingdom. Alright, and you have to remember that there are 35 phyla in Kingdom Animalia. So that is just an example. So next one is we have a class. 
So what does it what does a class mean? A class was the most general rank in the taxonomic hierarchy until phyla were not introduced. Kingdom animalia, for example, we're we're talking about kingdom because there are different kinds of kingdom, but we would like to more be specific in kingdom animalia because it's more you know more common to a lot of people. So kingdom animalia includes 108 classes including class Mammalia, Reptalia, Aves, etc. However, the classes used today are different from those proposed in Linnaeus and are not used frequently. So, you know, uh, scientists are really intelligent that they update information um, over the years, you know. So, once again, we have Kingdom, we have Phyla, or Phylum, and then we have a class. So these are the examples of a class. So t- just take a look, just take a quick look about the picture, on the picture. All right. Next one we have here, the order. What does order mean? Order is a more specific rank than class. The order constitutes one or more than one similar families. And there are around 26 orders in class mammalia, such as primates, carnivora, etc. So this is a good example of order, all right? Okay, very good. Next one, we have a family. So this category of taxonomic hierarchy includes various genera that share a few similarities. For example, the families in the order of carniv- carnivora includes canidae, felidae, and ursidae, etc. So this one is more of an example of a family and um, just like what I said earlier as we go down to the least level uh, the details of the specific organism becomes more specific okay unlike if it is in the kingdom uh, we're, we if unlike if we will start from the kingdom the details are more general and as we go down the details become more the details become more specific as compared to the ones that are in the first ranks. Next, we have a genus. A group of similar species forms a genus. Some genera have only one species and is known as monotypic, whereas some more than one species and is known as polytypic. For example, a lion and a tiger are placed under the genus of Panthera. So they're different, but they're more specific, and they are placed under the genus of Panthera. So we have here a lion and a tiger. All right? They belong in the same family. They belong in the same kingdom, order, phylum, and to be specific, they belong in the same uh, genus. Next is species. So it is the lowest level of taxonomic hierarchy. There are about 8.7 million. Can you imagine that? different species on earth 8.7 million i think it will take me a lifetime for for me to be able to uh be able to see all of those organisms or it may not probably take me a lifetime because i may not be able to see all of them because there's tons of them it refers to a group of organisms that are similar in shape form reproductive features species can be further divided into subspecies Okay, so we have. So take a look at the picture. There's different kinds of species over here. Okay, we are a specific kind of species, and these are different kinds of species. So let's just have a quick review once again. So I have shown you the different uh, definition and different description of each classification. You know, let me just re-echo once again. You have to remember the mnemonics or the uh, the order of this hierarchy biologic uh, hierarchy of biological classific- classification, which will start from the top to bo- down to the bottom. Or if it is easier for you to remember the ones that in the bottom to the top, it's up to you. But for me, I like to start from the top. So we have kingdom. Phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. So you have to remember that. Alright? So that's pretty much all my video for today. I hope you learned something for today. I'm I'm hoping that you got 
something even though it's just a little but i'm hoping that you got something out of today all right so thank you so much for watching my video thank you so much for uh, listening at the same time um i hope you have a great day um, especially to my students out there and i'm hoping that i mean if there are any information that i was not able to include um please comment down below and then we'll discuss more about this all right so stay tuned to the next video and until next time all right bye bye